Welcome, Climb of Viewers. My name is Jim Lee from Climb of Viewer News at ClimbofViewer.com, ClimbofViewer.org, and WeatherModificationHistory.com. It's July 10th, 2018, and today I want to make a video about our new Climb of Viewer Reports app. And, uh, you know, I'm partnered up with uh, Pam Jones for Liberty. She made that video you just saw. And, uh, you know, I'd like to thank Pam Jones for all the support. Um, she's been a, a longtime supporter, a good friend. She tweeted this out um, earlier today and made that video. And she's already got a whole bunch of people using the reporting app. Now, a little background on uh, this reporting app. It's at climateviewer.crowdmap.com and it's called climate viewer reports and it allows you to report your own you know sky issues um it's broken down into four categories there used to be many more categories as you can see i actually started this um app back in 2011 i haven't mentioned it in for quite some time and it's really got some dust on it and uh as you can see in just the last couple days it's really starting to shoot back up there um, and I hope that people will take advantage of this because it's a pretty powerful tool. It is linked to climateviewer.org, so you can see all of these reports on Climate Viewer 3D as well. And what it allows you to do is basically submit your own reports. Um, just click the submit button here. And when you come here, you can give the, it a title, description, Check the category that you want your stuff to go in. Put your name if you want. You don't have to. You can remain anonymous. Um, you can put your location where your photos were taken. So for me, I live in Sumter, South Carolina. So I'll just type Sumter SC in there and I hit find location. And what it'll do is it'll automatically find that and populate it in the location name here. Um, and of course it's going to take a little longer because i'm uploading and i'm on a vpn while doing so um but regardless it'll fill this in right here if you have external sources of information that you want to put in there like say i want to put in https climate viewer uh let's say climateviewer.com slash cirrus clouds matter I can do that and if I want to add external links I can add as many as I like just by hitting the plus or minus here same with videos you can add YouTube videos you can um, you know if, say if you've got some freaky weather in your area and you've already uploaded it to YouTube you can also put that in here um, and then once you're done you can hit choose file you know upload some photos um, let's see let's just pick something random out of here real quick Boom, like that. And then if I want to add another photo, choose file. Uh, boom, like that. Um, so, you know, take your photos. You can, um, you can obviously do this from your phone. Um, this is a completely free app. And once you're done, you hit submit. So let's take a look at what some of these reports will look like. Um, because this is an evidence gathering tool. It is a crowdsourced mapping app. Um, and eventually I hope to roll this into climateviewer.org all in one. Um, but like I said, you know, I created this back in 2011. It has gathered some dust, but we're dusting the covers off. It's got a shiny new coat of paint on it. And there's a whole bunch of reports um, flowing in. So as you can see right here, this is my report on July 6th that climate viewer um, reports is back open for business so you could see a fully loaded report right here um and as you can see i uploaded several photos um and you know after you upload your photos they come up in this pretty cool slider um you know hold on let me go back to this you know you have died of kim trails the oregon trail kind of funny um sulfur in the stratosphere, how they're using dirty high sulfur fuel to geoengineer the planet, um, jet biofuel enlisted for contrail control, plane exhaust kills more plane people than plane crashes, grounded how the ICAO failed to tackle aviation and climate change and what should happen now. Oh, they're using biofuels. How they're doping jet fuel and can use two fuels in one tank to turn the clouds on and off, on and off. Um, 
And that's just the photos I uploaded. I also put some video links in there. And as you can see, anything you put in the video link, which is a YouTube link, actually gets embedded and can be played right there on the page. Pretty epic. Um, you know. Your questions, I'm not going to be responding to them, though. I've, I've had dealings with um, folks who asked the same questions before, and they've been very rude. And yeah, because chemtrail people are very rude. So anyway, um, she doesn't want to answer the questions. Watch the videos. But anyway, and then news um, source links, whole bunch of links on that. So this is just like my overview of chemtrails um, all in one post. So that's an example post. I just put it up on the 6th. And since the 6th, there have been many reports rolling in. Pretty, pretty epic stuff. Brilliant knocked the lucent clouds over Stornoway, UK on July 2nd, 2018. Um, check that out. These are noctilucent clouds or electric blue clouds. Uh, it's a pretty impressive photo. Shout out to whoever posted that. Love you, mean it. Severe weather EU um, seems to be the source link for these. Um, several of these, in fact. Um, here's another one. Spectacular supercell near Bad Waltersdorf, SE Australia, Austria yesterday, July 5th. And there you go. So people are already posting in the wacky weather um, category. Gotta love that. Um, Mamatis clouds. Pretty epic photo there. Um, and this is dated July 1st in France. Um, let's see, another one here. And this is Spectacular Ash Devil. And you can see they took a screenshot of the video. But they left a link right here. So it says new source link. I can click that. Hop over to Facebook and there's the video and I actually see it. So it doesn't have to be, you know, all right there on the page. You can obviously, um, you know, link to other sources. You can upload your photos directly. Um, the app is free of charge. Uh, once again, it is at climateviewer.crowdmap.com. And um, what this will allow you to do is also over on Climate Viewer 3D, under the Live Alert section, you can see Climate Viewer reports right here. So these are the reports from 2011 to actually 2017 that have come in from around the globe. And as you can see, there are many, many of them. Um, I hope that we can grow this database uh, because you know this is an evidence gathering tool. All of these will link directly back to your uh, reports. So if you click any one of these, um, Department of Homeland Security Fusion Center, uh, Atlanta Underground Explosion. Um, I used to have many different categories on there, um, you know, like Big Brother, Nuclear, all of this stuff, but I've really whittled it down to just sky watching because um, yeah, the bulk of the reports that came in were already from there. I have over 350 uh, reports already on there, and I'm going to be updating it pretty regularly. So uh, what I'll do is once a month, I'll take the reports for the month. I'll bring them over here to climateviewer.org. Um, so they'll be, you know, ish, you know, monthly ish. Um, but you know you can always go directly to the the website and you know like i said these are all the reports that have come in recently you can see very large hail uh you know tons and tons of photos already coming in amsterdam netherlands right there um bring it up click the photos there's somebody's sky they took photos they uploaded it put a dot on the map that's some jacked up chemtrails um, and there you go. And you can see the long trails blowing off of it. You gotta love that. Um, and you know, they did it correctly. They got their little dot in the right spot and everything like that. So this is a great way to be able to say, this is my, my information. Here's links to, and then they link to a group. So I'll give them a shout out as well. Let's see right here. So this is Kim Trails Benelux. I think and it says Giles Day Van Day. I am a southerner, not going to try to pronounce that. Um, but regardless, it's a great way to link stuff together. And stuff on Facebook gets buried, it's never ever going to see the light of day. Um, 
It's certainly not going to get indexed by search engines or ever be seen anywhere other than Facebook. And we all know how it goes. You know, a month or two from now, these are long gone and they're just in the pile and nobody can ever really see them. So the purpose of what we're doing here, um, you know, Pam Jones, Lover Mean It, Daily Skywatch Reports at PJFL on uh, Twitter. So you guys follow her, Daily PJFL. Um, she's the one that made this video that I started the show out with. And uh, she's going to be, be, you know, trying to get people involved in this as well. And what we're trying to do is build a real database of, you know, photos from around the world. You know, you report your weather um, and we'll map it out. We'll keep it permanently and, you know, really start to build a database of this stuff. Because um, as you can see here, this is one, I think, directly from Pam over her house. That's a messed up, funky stuff, making a sunless sky. Um, and, you know with a lot of evidence we'll be able to you know eventually take this stuff and actually do something with it so i hope that you guys will get involved um you know post your photos uh post your links post your videos it is free of charge you can also get alerts in your area so if you want to click get alerts um you know move the dot to wherever you live and uh you know say I want everything within a hundred kilometer radius. Once again, I can type in Sumter, South Carolina, hit find my location. And if it doesn't take, there it goes, it pops right over to where I'm at. And as you can see, it put a circle around Sumter. So if anybody were to po post anything within a hundred kilometers of my hometown, I could get a, you know, an email update. So you just literally put check email address there, put in gem at climateviewer.com. And what do I want? I want all of them. So if anybody posts anything near my house, I want to know about it. Save my alert. And boom, it says, all right, check your email address and give us your verification code. And bam, you're signed up. And that way, you know, anybody posts anything near my house, I'll be the first one to know. Um, pretty convenient, uh, app. You have the ability to also download all the reports in bulk. So you just check here. You can download them as a comma separated value CSV file, or what I do, I download them as a KML file. So that's a Google earth compatible file. I hit download and it's going to give me, you know, all of the reports to up to today. And I could save them to climate viewer layers and put them in there and, show it on the map so that's how i'm doing this um you know it's a very simple process submit your reports go view your reports download your reports get alerts it's all available on climateviewer.crowdmap.com i hope you guys will give it a shot um i hope you'll spread the word it's free of charge um never gonna you know charge anything for this um so with that being said, I hope that you guys will support climateviewer.com as well by giving a monthly donation on Patreon or buy me a tea, not a coffee because I quit coffee about a month ago. I had a couple people, yeah, more than a month ago, I had a couple people in my um, Discord chat, chat buttons right here. If you guys want to join our Discord chat, they were giving me hell about the buy me a coffee thing still being up there um so yeah if you guys want to buy me a green tea or a pack of green tea um that'd be great yeah it's our it's herbal tea I, i've got several different ones i'm drinking one called cup of calm um i've got an immune um boosting uh tea that i drink and a couple other different ones and then the green tea obviously i like it with ginger and lemon i mean it's amazing. I never thought I would ever say something like that. You know, I, I used to smoke cigarette, drink coffee, smoke cigarette, drink coffee while coating all this stuff in the middle of the night. And the fact that I'm even drinking tea, uh, let alone that I quit coffee is a freaking modern day miracle. Um, quitting caffeine was one of the hardest things I've ever done. Um, but regardless, I have updated my <laughs> donation thing to say tea because I did quit the coffee 
Um, love you mean it to the guys in chat who were harassing me about that earlier today. <laughs> but regardless, um, guys, check out the app. I'm going to link it back up on climateviewer.org. There used to be a button up here at the top um, that said submit report. I'm going to put it back on there. Um, and I was working on that earlier tonight. I almost got it done. But, hey, man, you know, I have, I've had an extremely busy day. So I just wanted to give a shout out to Pam Jones for Liberty. And you can check her out here, pamjonesforliberty.com. And her Twitter handle is dailypjfl um daily pam jones for liberty right there daily sky watch reports um she's promoting this i appreciate her support i hope that you guys will get involved climateviewer.crowdmap.com links in the details already here on the um, video and um you know use it it's fine um it doesn't have to just be i've got a news category if you guys want to just post something that's news related newsworthy um that is not you know directly related to the sky watching um you know if you got gravity waves electromagnetic frequency adjustments to your sky freaky weather or um you know just general sky watch reports as you can see there's 142 right there in this area um so there's a lot already on there. If we continue to build this, that would be great. Um, and I will be referencing some of these photos and, and videos and upcoming videos. So I hope that you guys will get involved um, because you know information is power and with great power comes great responsibility. So I hope that you guys will use this app and I hope that you'll continue to support Climate Viewer and my work. And above all else, I hope that you will remember to attack ideas, not people. If this video resonates with you, leave me a comment because I love hearing from y'all. First time here? Be sure to subscribe and click the bell. The bell doesn't always work, so come to climateviewer.com and sign up for our newsletter. Remember, it would be impossible for me to do this without your support, so please join my Patreon or buy me a coffee on PayPal. And always, attack ideas, not people.